Black Sports Online, a unique take on sports and entertainment. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Brad Francis. And as you guys have heard, Jay-Z is partnering with the NFL, and this has a lot of people unhappy. Jay-Z has been very vocal in the past about the NFL blackballing Colin Kaepernick. He even stated last year that artists shouldn't perform at the Super Bowl halftime show as a protest to the NFL being discriminative towards black players. So a lot of people are thrown off by Jay-Z partnering with the NFL, calling him a hypocrite and other things. I see where everyone is coming from, but in my opinion, this could be the first step of change in the way the NFL treats their players. Look, it's easy to make a tweet about standing up for Kaepernick, but it's more difficult to get your ass up and actually do something about the issue, which is what Jay-Z is doing. I don't see why people don't understand that. While most people just sit there and talk shit, Jay-Z is actually making moves to fix this problem. Jay-Z is putting himself in an extremely vulnerable situation with taking this deal. If the NFL does anything that shows discrimination to black athletes, everyone is going to be looking at Jay, besides the rest of the NFL. Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed both came out and told the public that they are not happy with this deal Jay-Z made. One. When has Jay-Z ever taken the need to come out and tell us that we're past kneeling? Um, yes, he's done a lot of great work, um, a lot of great social justice work, but for you to get paid to go into the NFL press conference and say that we're past kneeling, again, ask not. Um, Players Coalition 2.0, he got paid to take the bullets that he's taking now because uh, we're not having it. Could you explain? This made me kind of mad. How are these two players that are very vocal about making social changes in sports are going to shit on the man who always had their back and is trying to make change? Like, come on, Eric Green and Colin Kaepernick. Can't you see what Jay-Z's trying to do? How is anything going to change if the same white owners are running teams? You think they're going to change anything? Hell no, they're not. Throughout history, there's always been those one or two people who actually put themselves in position to make change in the black community, whether it was Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, or MLK, and I see that same symbolism in this Jay-Z situation. So all these people are just going at Jay-Z and like talking shit, like bro, you guys gotta unite. You gotta work together. Don't just shit on the man. Hit up the man and be like, yo, all right, I dig what you're doing, but let's make some change, you know? People are just so damn negative and no change is going to happen with all this negativity, man. That's all I got to say. But that'll do it for me today. If you like this video, click the like button. If you have any thoughts on this subject, put it in the comments. If you want more news stories like this, go to blacksportsonline.com. Follow them on Twitter at BSO. Follow them on Instagram at BSOTV. And follow them on Facebook at Blacksportsonline. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.